Hi guys, so in this video I wanted to show you the new texture sample node, which is wonderful. It opens up endless possibilities to explore and create. First I want to update one of my tutorials, because the node makes the workflow easier. In the second part I show you a simple setup that utilizes the node. I explore a couple of variations. If you are just interested in the second part you can jump to 3 minutes and 10 seconds. So to start of this is the scene from my last tutorial on geometry nodes. I leave a link in the description. You can vary density, size and rotation and it uses the vertex weight modifier. The texture that I use is the one I showed you how to create in the last video. First I get rid of the vertex weight modifier. Then I add the attribute sample texture. I pick the image from the texture tab in the properties. I copy the name of the UV map and paste it in the mapping field. The output is specified by the name you enter in the result field. Next I add a attribute compare node. I enter the name of the output into attribute A, field and a different in the result field. Then I add a point separate node and enter the result from the attribute compare node. When I delete the name of the vertex group from the density attribute of the point distribute node the changes take effect. Now I just need to set the mode to less than in the attribute compare node. You can easily manipulate the texture, using the image editor in paint mode. For the second part I have a scene with a plane and a icosphere to be instanced. I select the plane and add a new node tree. Add a point distribute and point instance node. A attribute randomize node which I set to affect the scale. Next a attribute texture sample node. Again UV map to mapping and name the result. Then in the texture tab I add a new texture and set it to cloud type. I change the scale a bit. Then I add a attribute mix node. For the factor I use the mask. Attribute A is position, same as the result. I change attribute B to vector, so that I can manipulate the positions of the point on each axis, with an amplitude controlled by the mask.
Next I just quickly go through the blending modes of the attribute mix node. I have to say the results are weirdly wonderful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.